Good morning and welcome to Master Talker Online Class. You see, someone gave us this little uh, question. If you look at this, it looks uh, complex, but it's a very simple question. So, how do you approach this uh, kind of question? If you look at this, you notice that the numerator here and the denominator here are the same. So, once you have such thing, just say, let it be y. That's all. Let that thing that is the same thing, which is s squared minus 7x be equal to y. So, which means anywhere I see s squared minus 7x, I'm going to put y in this equation. So, which is I'm having y over 4, okay, minus 27 over y is equal to what? 3. Now, the next thing you have to do is to remove the denominator. Anytime you want to remove the denominator, multiply each of the, each term by the LCM of the denominator. If you look at it, the LCM of 4y, nothing can divide both of them. So, the LCM is just 4 times y, 4y. So, 4y is the LCM. So, we multiply by 4y multiply by the LCM which is that is 4y I'm going to have 4y bracket y over 4 minus 4y bracket 27 over y is equal to 4y bracket 3 I'm multiplying everybody by 4y so what do I have 4 will take care of 4 y will take care of y so what do i have here y times y i'm having y squared minus this time this i'm having um 27 times uh, times 4 4 times 7 is um 28 okay 28 i'm having 8 and 2 4 times this 2 so i'm having 108 okay is equal to what this time this i'm having 12 y now if you look at this the quadratic equation let me bring this to this side i'm having y squared minus 12y minus 108 is equal to what? 0. So let us solve this. And solving this, we can check if it is factorizable. If you want to solve um, factorization method of quadratic equation, let me teach you that. If you have y squared minus 12y minus 108 is equal to 0. The first thing you do is just to multiply the first person and the last person, which is what? This time is I'm having minus 108y squared. Now, in your secondary school, they will tell you, think of two factors of this number, that if you add them or subtract them, you have this one in the middle. Then if you multiply them, you still get this one back. So you start thinking of it till next year, and you will not even get the answer. But the best way and the simplest way to get it is by sharing it as LCM. I'm having minus 108y squared. Two divide, I'm having minus... Um, 54y squared. To divide again, I'm having minus um, um, 5 here, I'm having 2, 27y squared. Okay? So I'm having again 3 divide, I'm having um, minus 9y squared. 3 divide, I'm having, am I sure? Yeah. 3 divide, I'm having um, minus 3y squared. Okay? So I'm having what? 3 again divide, I'm having minus y squared y divided i'm having minus y minus y final i'm having one notice that whenever the thing has minus the last person you are going to divide with should be minus y please so now from this place now let's form two groups and each group must have y okay each group must have y so let's form it uh i will decide to take um if i decide to take two times two four four times three twelve twelve with one y i'm having 12y then 3 times 3 9 9 times minus y i'm having minus what 9y if you do these two things i'm having a 12 minus this to give you 3y and if you look at this it is not 3y that is in the middle so the combination the group i formed is a wrong group so let me look for another group let me look for another group so if i say um 3 times 3 3 times 3 9 9 times 2 is 18 18 and y so let's check it 2 times 3 6 6 times 3 18 18 times y i'm having 18 y okay so what is remaining here is now these two 2 and 3 with minus y so 2 times 3 is 6 6 times minus y i have what minus 6 y now if you do the two of them you see you're having what 12 y you see that it's the same number here 12 y 12 y but the only problem is that this one is plus 12y, while this one is minus 12y. Whenever the sign is the problem, just change the sign of everybody here. Change the sign of this one. I'm having minus 18y. 
change the sign of this one i'm having plus six y change the sign of this one i'm having what minus 12 y see you have gotten exactly what you're looking for so anywhere you are anywhere you see minus 12 y you are going to put what minus 18 y plus 6 y so as simple as that so you bring down y squared instead of writing this i will now write minus 18 y plus 6 y then i'll bring down minus 108 is equal to zero so that is how to find the two things that you use to replace that one in the middle so now the next thing you do is what to open two brackets if i open two brackets equal to zero i'll now have the what the, the what is common between these two people is what y and what y minus um, 18. is it not yes because this divided by this i'm having y 18 y divided by this i'm having 18. so anything that is here must be here y minus 18. so how do you get the person outside you get the person outside by saying the last person divided by the last person but before that minus minus will give you plus 108 divided by 18 i'm having six that is how to get what is outside you will check if it's correct plus six times this i have six y plus six times this i'm having 108 so between this line and this line what is common the common term there is what y minus 18 is the common term and what is now remaining is what y plus six is remaining is equal to zero one minute sorry for the distraction so the next thing i'm going to do is what when two things when when the product of two things is equal to zero it means that one of them must be zero so i'll say that what y minus 18 is the zero or that y plus 6 is the zero so what do i have now collect items y is equal to what 18 or y is equal to what minus 6 so you have got to y don't forget that you are not looking for y what you are looking for is what x so but you will tell them that what but but there is a place you say that let x squared minus 3 minus 7 x be equal to y which means that what x squared okay let me permit me to solve it here so i'm going to have that what x squared minus 7 x is equal to the first one i got is what 18 or the next one there is what x squared minus 7 x is equal to what minus 6 so bring this one to this side to have what x squared minus 7 x minus 18 is equal to 0 or x squared minus 7 x plus 6 is equal to what 0 so you are going to solve two of them by factorization method of quadratic equation if it's factorizable so let's check so the first thing i taught you again is what this times this which is what minus 18 x squared so let us share let's find what is, what will work out minus 18 x squared 2 divided i have what minus 9 x squared 3 divided i have what minus 3 x squared 3 divided i have what minus x squared uh x divided i have what minus x and then minus x finally one i told you that if it has minus divide with minus as the last person please so let us find two groups let's find two groups i'm going to have let me say two and three with one x then three with one with the other x because i do that each group must have x so two times the six six times x i'm having six x plus six x and three times minus x i'm having minus three x if you do the both of them i'm having uh, plus three x and this is not plus three x so the group is wrong it's a wrong group so let me look for another group let me look for another group let me decide to take let me decide to take 3 and 3 with 1x and then take 2 and this x. Let's check what will happen. 3 times 3, 9. 9 times s, I'm having what? 9x plus 9x. Now, 2 times this, I'm having minus 2x. You see both of them, I'm having plus 7x. You see that I'm having the same 7x, but the problem here is now the minus. I told that if the negative is the problem, change the sign of everybody. Okay? Change the sign of this one, I'm having minus 9x. Change the sign of this one, I'm having plus 2x. It's equal to change the sign of this one, minus 7x. I have gotten exactly minus 7x, which means anywhere I see minus 7x, I will replace it with what? Minus 9x plus 2x. So let's continue. I'm having x squared here. Instead of writing this, I'll now write minus 9x plus 2x. Bring down minus 18 is equal to 0. Okay? So let us factorize. The next thing you do is to open two brackets 
Now, what is common between these two people is just x. Now, x squared divided by x, I'm having x minus 9x divided by x, I'm having what? 9. Anything that is here must be here. x minus 9. How do you get what will be outside? The last person divided by the last person. So, minus, minus, plus. 18 divided by 9, I'm having um, 2. Okay? Is equal to what? 0. So, you check if it is correct. 2 times is 2x. 2 times is 18. It's correct. So, the next line is, what is common between this line and this line is what? x minus 9. And what is remaining is now what? x plus 2 is equal to what? 0. So, what does it mean now? When two things are equal to 0, when the product of two things is equal to 0, it means that what? Each of them must be 0. So, what I have? 1 minus 9, x minus 9 is equal to 0. Or x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, finally, I'm having a what? x is equal to 9 or x is equal to what? Minus 2. That is for that side. Let's go back to the other side. Okay. So, going over to this side, let's solve this equation. So, in this equation now, I'm going to have the same thing is applicable. This times this. I'm having what? 6x squared. So, let's find what to give us this minus 7x here. So, I'm having 6x squared. Okay? Uh, 2 divide, I'm having what? 3x squared. 3 divide, I'm having x squared. x divide, I'm having x. x divide, I'm having 1. So, now, I'm looking for minus 7. So, if I say, let me take 2 and x and 3 and x. Let's check what will happen. 2 times x, 2x. 3 times x, 3x. Both of them is giving me 5x and this is not 5x, which means that combination is wrong. So let me look for another combination. I can decide to take 2 and 3 with 1x, leaving only this x because this x is a, a group. So this time this will give me what? 6x plus only x that is here, which will give me what? 7x. I told you that, look at the same 7x, but I told you that if the sign is the problem, change the sign of everybody. So I'm going to have minus 6x minus x is equal to what? Minus 7x. So which means anywhere I see minus 7x, I'm going to put minus 6x minus x. So bring down what? x squared. Instead of writing this, I'll write what? Minus 6x minus x. Bring down what? Plus 6 is equal to what? 0. So once you are done, just open two brackets. Is equal to 0. What is common between this and this is just what? x. Okay? x squared divided by x, I'm having x. Minus 6x divided by x, I'm having 6. Anything that is here must be here. x minus 6. So how do you get the person that will be outside? The last person divided by the last person. Plus minus is minus. 6 divided by 6 is 1. You can check if it is correct. 1 times this is x. 1 times this minus minus plus. 1 times this is 6. So it's correct. So the next line is what? What is common between this line and this line? x minus 6 is common. Then what is remaining? x minus 1 is remaining. Is equal to 0. Now, when the product of two things is equal to 0, it means that either one of them must be 0. So, but we don't know the one that is the 0. So, we can say, let that x minus 6 be the one that is 0. Or, we can say that x minus 1 will be 0. So, for the light terms, I'm having x is equal to 6. Or what? x is equal to 1. So, therefore, the x is equal to what? 9, comma, minus 2, comma, 6. And what? 1. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. Please, like, share, and subscribe. You can drop your question at the comment section.